The interference detection tool can be found in the evaluate tab and can be used to find interferences between different components, assemblies, as well as bodies within a single assembly. It's an especially useful tool to find small interferences that you wouldn't otherwise catch while browsing through your model. By default, the selected components is going to come in as the entire assembly. I'll just go ahead here and click calculate. Before I do that, I'm going to turn off this option that says treat coincidence as interference as I have quite a few coincident relations in this assembly that are going to show up if I don't uncheck this box. I just actually want to see where parts are colliding within this assembly. So I'll click calculate and this will bring up several interferences. If I click on each individual one, it'll show where those occur. And by default, this Make Interfering Parts Transparent option is checked. It'll make one of the parts transparent so you can see where those interferences are. We can also ignore any hidden bodies that we have. And the Non-Interfering Components option at the bottom is a useful way to clear out the components that aren't part of the interference makes it a little bit easier to see. Next we can go through this list a little bit. I can see that I have all these interferences between all of my bolts and all of the threaded holes. The reason for that is you can see that the threaded hole is a little bit smaller than the actual threads themselves so it sees this entire interference. That's not something we would have to worry about in a real assembly as these two would screw into each other. So we can ignore any of those. And you can also show the ignored interferences if you want as well. Because I accidentally ignored an interference that I didn't want to. And I'm going to turn that hidden mode or transparent mode back on. So I can see what's going on. So I can see with the top two interferences that there's a small collision between my two gears. If I wanted I could delete out the gear mate that is currently in the assembly and reposition these so they're not colliding. But in this case it doesn't really affect the assembly so I'll go ahead and leave those as they are. Instead of viewing these as the interferences I can also take the component view so I can see what separate components are having interferences. And if I go out of the interference detection and come back in and say treat coincidence as interference, and I'll come back into the interference view. You'll see that I have quite a few interferences from all of the coincident relations that I've added. So keep the coincidence option in mind if, if your assembly has issues when two items are coincident then you might want this checked. For most assemblies you'll generally want to leave this unchecked as you'll have a lot of coincident parts. If you have fasteners you can also create a fasteners folder. In this case I'm using my own custom fasteners as opposed to the toolbox so this isn't going to apply. 
And if you have a multi-body part, you can also check for interferences with the multiple bodies. And the last option is treat subassemblies as components. This will ignore interferences within the subassembly and just look at the external attributes of that subassembly with reference to whether or not it interferes with other components within the assembly. But that's how you use the interference detection. It's a fairly useful tool and can be used to quickly fix any issues within an assembly.